In this video we're going to look at publishing messages using the PAHO uh, MQTT uh, Python client and we're going to be using uh, a set of simple Python scripts to publish messages and uh, to examine the results of those published messages. We'll look at publishing with various uh, quality of service levels 0, 1 and 2 and we'll also looking, look at using the retain flag and what happens when we, when we do that. But before we uh, go and look at the scripts, let's have a look at uh, a little diagram that shows the published process. And here we are, we start with the quality of service of zero, and you can see uh, published with a quality of service of zero, and we don't get an acknowledgement. The, you, the client software does get a, uh, an acknowledgement though, but it's actually generated by the client and not by the, by the broker. And now we publish with the quality of service one, and this time we do get an acknowledgement, and this this comes from the from the broker. And then we publish with the quality of service of two. Uh, this time the response is a little more complex, and we get a series of acknowledgements, and we also uh, acknowledge back to the to the broker. And you can see the results here. And we'll. When we look at the Python code, uh, when we look at the output from the Python scripts, we'll see these various acknowledgements um, coming back. Okay, so let's go and look at our first script. So here's our first script, and we import the the client. We import time. And we use this for some delays. And then we set up our callbacks. Again, I'm using the log, which we looked at in the Connect um, video. Um, this shows me a lot more information when I'm um, working with the client. And then we set up the callbacks. We associate the callbacks down here. And then we connect to the broker. We start a loop because we, we need the loop to process the callbacks and again we wait for the client to be connected before we start publishing. Now what we're going to do is publish three messages um, with quality of service 0, that's the first one, quality of service 1 and then quality of service 2. Okay so let's run the script and uh, see what happens. Okay it's finished. Um, you can see here we published quality of service one there it is there and we publish with the quality sorry quality of service zero there quality of service one there and the quality of service two there now this is all generated by the the log which is this one here that's why I include it because it gives us some very useful feedback so the Scripts finished, and here you can see we publish them with the quality of service zero, and you can see the acknowledgement coming in here. Now this is the acknowledgement is coming from the client and not the server. Then we published with the quality of service one, and we got a publish acknowledgement here, and this actually came from the broker and not from the, not generated by the client. And then we publish finally with the quality of service two, and you can see there's um, a couple of things coming in here. Now what the process with the quality of service 2 is basically the broker acknowledges the the publish then the client has to acknowledge that acknowledgement and then the broker sends a complete message which is that one there to basically say the process is complete and everything went okay. So the handshakes a lot longer. Okay, the problem with this is that everything is all mixed up because of the asynchronous nature of, of the callback. So I'm just going to modify the script to make it easier to, for, to read the uh, output from the script. So let's have a look at the modified script. Okay, here's the new script. Now, what I've done is I've imported logging and I'm going to use the logging um, function or module, should I say, to log all output. So instead of the print statements, now I'm just using the login.info to print out the data. So here you can see here all the print statements have been replaced by login.info statements. But otherwise the, the script is the same. So let me run the script again. Now you can see now it's in a better order. You can see the uh, acknowledgements coming in um, 
in the right order. You see, we got it connected, we published, we send the published, we got the acknowledgement, then we published, got the acknowledgement, then we published again and got the various acknowledgements. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense. So I tend to use the logging uh, module in all the scripts. It makes it easier to um, read the output. And also, by making a simple change, you can disable all the output. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to modify the script again. And this time we're going to subscribe to that topic, the one we're publishing to. And what we're going to do is we're going to publish and then we're going to subscribe. So we're going to publish the messages before we subscribe to the topic. And then we're going to see what happens. Okay, this is the modified script. And you can see here the change I've made at the bottom here is I'm subscribing to the topic. And I've got a bit of a delay at the end so we can catch any messages that are, are coming through. And here I've got the on message callback. So we want to process any messages. And I, I've got the on subscribe callback that I've added in here so we can see when we've subscribed. But other than that, it's identical. So let's run this script. OK, the script's finished. And now you can see quite clearly that I published and the, those messages simply disappeared. Because when I subscribe later, then I didn't see any, new mess any messages come in. And it doesn't make any difference what quality of service I publish as, 1, 2, or 0, then I still don't see the messages. Now, if I wanted to see those messages, those published messages, I would have to subscribe before I published. Alternatively, I would have to have subscribed and I would have to have used a persistent connection. So I would have to have set the clean session to false before I, uh, when I subscribed the last time. So generally speaking, you publish a message. If no one subscribed to, subscribed to that topic, then that message just gets discarded by the broker. And you can see that quite clearly here. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to modify the script. And this time we're going to publish with the retain flag set to true. And we're going to do it with quality of service zero. So we're only going to do it for the one message. And we'll look at the results of that. So here I'm back at the script and I'm just going to set the retain flag here to true. That's the only modification I need to make. And then we can run the script again. OK, um, you can see here the retain flag has been set here. Now you can see the results of it because when we subscribe we actually receive the, the message and it's the right message, test message zero, because that's what we're publishing on when we publish with a quality of service zero. So the retained message gets held by the, the broker and when the clients when the new client subscribes to that topic, it receives that retained message and you can see that here. And it doesn't make any difference what quality of service I'm using. That's why I chose to use the quality of service zero. OK, um, before we finish off, I just want to talk about the mid values here. You can see M1, M2, M3. These are counters. Um, when you publish a message, uh, then the client produces a counter for that message. And this time, this is message one, this is message two, message three. And when the broker responds, it includes that value in the response message. And so you see the, the response message here to here one and here three yeah, on the on the receive now this is so you can actually track the the messages so you know um, which published messages have actually been been received because you can compare the the values on the counter values and if we go down to the receive message this is the, the retained message that we sent here. You can see here the retain flag is set to 1. So we can identify a retained message. Uh, if, we, if we'd received a normal published message, then this retain flag would be set to 0 like it is here. But because it's a retained message, it's set to 1. So it's an easy way to actually um, 
distinguish between a retained message and a normal published message when you're receiving messages. Before we finish, I'm just going to go back to the script. I'm going to edit it again. I'm going to get rid of the retained message here. So I'm going to set it to effectively set it to false. And then I'm going to run the script again. This time it's publishing with a retain flag, sorry, set to zero. But you see when I subscribe I still get that retain message. Now that retain message is effectively held indefinitely on the on the on the server or the broker uh, unless I reset it. Now to reset a retain message you publish with a blank message, but you have to set the retain flag to true when you publish it. So I'm just going to show you the code that I use to reset this message, and I'm going to reset the message. And here it is. Here I've created the reset, and I'm going to hit the re use the reset and here it is here it simply publishes but this time it's a blank message and I set the retain flag to true now when I do that then the retain message will be reset so the, the next time I actually subscribe to that I won't see that retain message okay so let's run the script again And that's a script run, and this time I'm not seeing the, the message, uh, the retain message has actually been cleared. And that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to rate the video uh, if you liked it or if you didn't like it. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, there's a subscribe button below. And if you have any comments, there's a comment box below. Until next time, bye.